Today is one of those days when there is so much craziness that I'm going to cover more than one story. Please leave a comment and let me know if you prefer that I only cover one story at a time. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories, support the channel by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing, leaving a comment, and sharing. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. The first story reads, heavy snow and rain across northeast and midwest next week is expected to throw a wrench into Thanksgiving travel plans for up to 50 million Americans. Please be safe if you are traveling and extra safe with the crazy weather. I'll keep you all in my prayers. The second story says, Kyle Rittenhouse prosecutors held back high-def drone footage of Kenosha shootings from defense and gave them low-quality video sparking them to file mistrial motion that could see teen walk free. Well, you don't say. What a horrible idea to withhold key evidence in a trial that could spark riots in the city. What a shame that our tax-paid prosecutors are doing this in this high-profile trial. I didn't see it in the article, but I'm wondering if these were government man drones. Speaking of the government, the next story states, Kevin McCarthy slams Biden's DOJ after whistleblower revealed FBI used counterterrorism tactics to investigate parents complaining about CRT. Demands AG Garland prove he did not lie before Congress. Apparently, if you care enough about your child's education to go discuss your concerns to the school board about what is being taught in schools, you will get a new FBI label, edu officials. Not only that, but you might be investigated and charged with a crime. What in the world is going on here? While we are on the subject of schools and what students are being taught, this next story just gets crazier. It states, Old Dominion University places trans professor, 34, on leave after interview defending pedophiles as minor attracted persons and saying they shouldn't be ostracized because they can't help their urges. I'll let you watch the video while I facepalm and shake my head in disbelief. Um, I use the term minor attracted person or MAP uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to uh, doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. Uh, from my perspective, there is no morality or immorality attached to attraction to anyone because no one can control who they're attracted to at all. Um, in other words, it's not who we're attracted to that's either okay or not okay. It's our behaviors in responding to that attraction that are either okay or not okay. Uh, and I want to be extremely clear that child sexual abuse is never, ever okay. But having an attraction to minors, as long as it isn't acted on, doesn't mean that the person who has those attractions is doing something wrong. In my opinion this person is not only mentally unfit to be teaching, this person is also wanting to change labels for something that is wrong and with that start to change whether this behavior is right or wrong. Our current society just blows my mind. Before you blow up my comments section, let me finish with two more stories. The next one reads, if Kenosha don't get it, shut it down. BLM protesters face off with pro Rittenhouse supporters outside court after jury finished for the night. National Guard on standby. Let me get this straight, Kyle was seen cleaning graffiti off of buildings, he had his first aid kit, and was there to help and protect the community. Also, one of the guys he got was threatening his life and was a convicted sex offender, but somehow Kyle is the bad guy. I don't get why BLM is even involved if the two killed were white guys. Well, I wanted to end today's video with a bit of good news. The last story says, my parents should be in jail. Britney Spears says her father and church-going mother should be locked up for her degrading $60 million 13-year conservatorship. Yup, that's right, Britney. I might be crazy, Spears is now free from her conservatorship. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, so I'm here today to answer all of your guys' questions, and the first main question that you guys have been asking me is, what am I gonna do now that the conservatorship's over with? Very good question. Well, let's see, I've been in the conservatorship for 13 years. It's a really long time to be in a situation you don't want to be in. Um, so I'm just grateful, honestly, for each day and being able to have um, the keys to my car and being able to be independent and feel like a woman. And 
um, owning an ATM card, seeing cash for the first time, being able to buy candles. It's the little things for us women, but it makes a huge difference. And um, I'm grateful for that, you know, it's nice. It's really nice. Um, but um, I'm not here to be a victim. Um, I lived with victims my whole life as a child. That's why I got out of my house and I worked for 20 years and worked my ass off. I'm here to be an advocate for people with real disabilities and real illnesses. Um, I'm a very strong woman, so I can only imagine um, what the system has done to those people. Um, so hopefully my little story, um, hopefully my story will make an impact and um, make some changes um, in the corrupt system. And the Free Britney movement, you guys rock. Honestly, my voice was muted and threatened for so long and um, I wasn't able to speak up or say anything. And um, because of you guys and the awareness of kind of knowing what was going on and delivering that news to the public for so long, you gave it awareness um, to all of them. And um, because of you, I honestly think you guys saved my life in a way, 100%. Um, and I know there's a lot of jokes about the Free Britney movement. Um, we're not free, we're expensive. Okay, birdies, I'm expensive too. But anyways, with that said, um, let's move forward. God bless you all. We're gonna have a good year, good Christmas, and rock on. She looks like she is in good health and hopefully she stays out of trouble. And yes, Brittany, rock on. Let me know if you like today's style, or if you prefer, I cover one story per video. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.